Hi everyone, welcome to yet another MailChimp tutorial. Today's topic is dealing with creating an email campaign. So after you've established uh, an audience list, you can then venture on to the kind of the next logical step and create your, your very first email campaign. Uh, if you haven't noticed, just click over here onto the campaigns tab. It'll send you to this landing page here. Once you're here, just make sure to click on Create Campaign Call to Action button. This screen will pop up. Uh, I'm not going to go into all these individual pieces as we're just covering the very basics. So I'm just going to say for the most basic kind of campaign you can run is just a simple email campaign. And you're going to want to keep it on regular. These other ones can be covered another time. Uh, your campaign name will be whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to call it uh, Test Campaign. Once I land there, I get, uh, I get a little questionnaire of what uh, I need to complete the campaign. So number one, who's this going to? So I'm going to choose my audience. I've got two subscribers and got that piece out of the way. Now it's asking, do you want to segment that list? Or if you have tags, which will be covered in another video, do you want to uh, target them? That's all. I'm just going to point out that's there, but I'm not going to get into how segments and tags work, just to let you know that there is ways to, to micro-target people. Uh, and from there, I'm going to save it. Now the from is the, kind of the next big piece. You're going to want to put your name and email address. Once that's in place, save it. Uh, and actually, you may be prompted with this to verify the domain. Uh, and to do that, it, you will click this uh, button here, and it will send an automated response to your email inbox, you click the activation link and that should be squared away. Uh, we're going to skip that one. Uh, the next thing is subject, of course. What is the subject? This is my first email campaign, just to get things going. Uh, and then uh, in some email clients, like Outlook, I believe the latest versions, and maybe Gmail and some other uh, kind of modern email um, uh, applications, you can uh, put in a snippet that will appear after the subject line. So maybe think of it as a subheadline. Check out the latest and greatest. So that just kind of goes along with that. You're going to want to save that. And then you can see these are checked off, except they're from, as I pointed out earlier. And the last step is pretty much the, the, the one with the most fun involved. So you're going to design the email. Click on design email and you're going to land on various options. So I'm going to, I'm not going to go in depth about this either, but I'm going to show, just show you what the available options in a quick sort of fashion are. Uh, you can choose from different layouts just by clicking on that. Uh, there's also uh, different themes that you could choose from if you want to start from, uh, you know, looking for them via category. Um, if you've created a, a save template, you can make any of these your own and then save them for later use. You would go here, uh, and then you can look at your past campaigns and then replicate the, the look and feel of that as a starting point and then customize it where you need. Or you can even code your own from scratch. And that, of course, will need a web developer in the mix. Uh, but we're just going to do the simplest of options. So uh, I'm just going to go with a simple, like, uh, the first random campaign. Once you're in there, you obviously get met with the placeholder information that is involved with the campaign. On your right, you will have various elements. It's sorry for it that it's cropped off a little bit here, uh, but know that there's a few other options to the right uh, that are not shown here, but it's as easy as dragging and dropping. I'm dragging here, for example, a text box. Plop it in here, and then the, the uh, editor box will pop up. This is a text box. And really, that's kind of, it's a drag and drop operator. So, you know, you just move it around how you see fit. Uh, you know, there's an image card to put in an image. Uh, and you could just browse for an image. If you've got it in stored in MailChimp itself, you can uh, just select from your library. Um, and when you're done, just click Save and Close as you go. So each of these are going to do different things. Social share is another one I'll show you. Uh, and again, these are all drag and drop. So just kind of play with that. Save and close when you're done. 
we're just going to pretend like this is it. You can, we can really go in depth about some of these options here, but uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just wanting to cover the basics. I'll, I guess I'll do one more dividing line. I guess that might be a common thing most people want to use, and then you know, various options here. You can toy with the style, you know, of the the aesthetics of the line and that sort of thing. Uh, you don't see this, but on the bottom right, there's a save and close option. Uh, you can choose to do that, or you can venture on up here to preview and test, and you can enter preview mode to see how it looks, you know, in desktop, mobile, and, and inbox view, which actually inbox is a premium option, so I'll just, desktop and mobile will be the only ones that you will uh, kind of see this if you are on a free account. Um, you also get the ability to enable live merge tag info. What that means is basically if you've got um, I won't cover this in depth, but I'll just tell you that this is available, is if you have other information beyond their email address, you know, first name, last name, that sort of thing, you could personalize this. Dear Randy McQuaid. And then you can uh, put the rest of your newsletter in. And you could, and basically that's done via merge tags, but that will be covered in another video. But you would basically have to put in a merge tag onto your campaign to personalize it. But since we're going through the basics, we're just going to leave it at that uh, and go ahead and save and close. Clicking here in the bottom right, uh, you will see there's a little X here, but that's basically saying, you know, you, you know, something related to the template I picked. So this may not be applicable to you. Um, so we're just going to keep on working through this and uh, just know you, you could send a test email to yourself, which is very handy. Just input your email address in this field and then click send test to see how it's looking, um, you know, in real time on your, in your inbox. And you can, of course, test that on various uh, email clients like Yahoo and Gmail and Hotmail and uh, Office 365 and so on and so forth. So that way you can see what it, to how it displays because different email applications can render email differently. When you're all done, you'll see this is grayed out and that's because I haven't completed this from step, but you can either do one of two options. You can schedule your email to be sent out at a future date or you could send it right away, either way. Um, of course, you could click finish later, log out and come back to it later. It'll keep it in draft. Uh, but yeah, so these two options are pretty self-explanatory. Schedule will just simply ask you what day of the week do you want to send this, what time, and so on and so forth. And then send is like, are you sure you want to send it? And then you'll click submit and you're done. So that's kind of the basics with uh, creating a campaign. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up for liking it. Uh, and of course, if you have any questions or comments about the video, please leave that below. And uh, the, uh, the biggest compliment you can give me is you subscribe to this channel for future videos, as well as ring the bell for notifications when videos do hit this channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.